Hey, what is up, good people of YouTube? Finally, we're back with part three of Ultimate Twister tutorial series, and in this part, we're going to be learning about what you have been waiting for a long time. That is After Effects settings of Twister and uh, how to avoid warping and completely eliminate it. So, um, well, before we start, I would really like to recommend you to watch part 1 and part 2 of this series because both of them really help you make a video that is Twixter friendly. Only then you can bring that thing into After Effects so that it doesn't warp. So do watch them, uh, here are the links on your screen right now, you can click it and have a look at them and then watch part 3 and those who already have, let's begin. Here we are inside of After Effects and uh, this is CS5 and let's just begin right away. This is the library and the video we are going to be learning Fixter about was earlier my short film and this time also it's gonna be my short film footage this is the original footage which as you can see is not color corrected is not slowed down it's just raw footage of um, 8 second duration and we're gonna slow it down for a lot longer than that okay um, I will Right away, show you the original footages first so that you have an idea how slow Fixture can go. Okay, so even my favorite one is this one <coughs> where he goes like Whoa, yeah, I like that face he makes there. Kind of exaggerates that effect of this. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, we will select this footage and drag it on top of the new composition icon which will create a composition that has the same settings as the footage over here it is shot at 59.94 frames which as you can see from the previous video tutorial that 60 fps is really recommended frame rate as those extra 30 frames really help Twister to slow things down better so keep your frame rate 59.94 in your composition if you haven't uh, the rest is just okay and uh, the first thing that you need to do is right click on this go to frame blending and set it to pixel motion the reason for this is the pixel motion frame blending option is After Effects own method of blending two frames of a video by understanding as to where do those pixels go in the next frame for example we have these set of pixels after effects understands that okay th these are moving in this direction so pixel motion is a better option of frame blending so set that on first secondly to see that in action inside your composition you have to click on this little button over here which says enables frame blending for all layers for which the frame blend is switched to set so we'll click on that and after that um, let's apply fixture we will come down to revision plugins fixture pro okay so let's okay before we before I explain you all these settings I would really like to mention that there is a chance that I might be wrong somewhere because many of these settings I haven't tried as such in my videos so I might be wrong 
so if i am please do correct me and i would also post the link of the website revision plugins that actually has a brilliant collection of tutorials for twixter and uh, yeah so do visit that site because i have learned pretty much from that site so here it is twixter pro all right let's begin with the first option is display um, as you can see it's pretty straightforward what do you want to display over here do you want to display the source do you want to display the final output or the foreground one foreground two the remaining options which aren't really necessary the reason for this is at times when you add other effects and plugins for example if i start color correcting this and i add a lot more under this twixter pro setting then twixter will not show exactly i'll show you rather saying it okay i, I added looks here magic bullet looks now when i set this to for example 50 percent speed when i come to this place he's actually turning this at 50 percent slower speed rate but looks does not understand that looks is like if you add any effect into it let's just say we'll add a preset for example if i add this preset as you can see this is a completely different frame it's not the frame with which we started over here in after effects so we're gonna say finish and this was a different frame and the frame that you're looking for inside another plugin or inside an, another effect is different as a result you might be like i want to know what kind of effect it will look on this frame and not on the frame that's that looks as showing so we set this to source now we can see that it is the same frame that looks is working on so you can set this to source only when you want to see the original footage in order to color correct it or in order to work on it <coughs> when you want to see the final output you can just select this uh, output i'm just gonna go ahead and delete this okay um source control now uh, what is the source i mean out of all the movies in case you have a lot of movies in this composition which movie is it that is the source footage so we know that is this 1955.mov alternate motion source there's no alternate motion source this itself is the motion source so we're gonna keep that with none input field now this is one of the reasons why warping might happen in your video and it won't happen in someone else's video because different cameras have different field settings with which they shoot for example if someone shoots up in NTSC mode and someone shoots in a PAL mode so they both will have different settings to keep over here so what exactly is field we're gonna have a look at that basically um, just to provide a little more detail about the field order let's use standard NTSC as an example for example in NTSC video uh, the image is made up of uh, 525 scan lines I'll show an image which explains it better now think of this image as one of your frames one of the frames of your video so what you're seeing here is that this image over here is not a single image which is instantly shown on your screen it, it is made up of different lines two types of lines odd lines and even lines so in NTSC for example there are 525 scan lines such lines and they go from the top of the frame to the bottom of the frame each frame of the video is made up of two fields of the video one is an odd numbered scan line this one for example and the other one is even number now the odd one goes from line one then line three line four line sorry line one line three line five line seven odd number of lines and the even one goes from two four eight up to 524 now each line is scanned alternately and uh, which one starts first determines whether you choose upper field over here in after effects 
upper field first or lower field first that is determined by which field does your camera support as the first one now if you have an NTSC video which I recommended in the last tutorial because NTSC provides 60 frames per second and PAL format provides 50 frames per second so NTSC is what you're gonna go with and so in an NTSC video even lines are scanned first these ones are scanned first as a result you have to choose the lower field first option which would be this one because my video is NTSC 2 as you can see nothing happened because it is not visible on a progressive screen monitor that is your own screen it is majorly seen when you're going to showcase this footage on a television monitor that runs on specific television broadcasting formats but I would also suggest in case you have you are confused about what your footage is shot at in NTSC or I'll just keep it unrun and try to select any one of these in case swapping happens but as of now we're gonna just keep it on none frame rate is exit. now the problem with warping most of the time is as you can see it's set on 50 and let me bring you to a frame that causes warping okay maybe this one look at look at his hand right here right here yes. as you can see there's this ghost effect that is happening this is an example of warping now you must be wondering that nothing is applied and it's just slowed down to 50 percent speed but it's still showing some warping so why is that because by default mixture comes set at a frame rate of 29.97 which you have to change to the frame rate of your video so we're gonna go and make it 59.97 oops which is again the frame rate of your oh sorry 59.94 59.94 which is again the frame rate of your composition and the frame rate of your video so now as you can see it has completely gone and the video is clean so that's number one thing that you need to keep in mind to avoid warping set the frame rate to whatever your video is shot at um, these are uh, some options that I rarely use uh, for example plenty memory is it, it, asks you do you want to cache the last motion that Twixter used for example it is right now being slowed at 50% and Twixter is caching this thing this motion of this slow effect it's caching it into its memory but if you don't have a high configuration video you might as well take this off so that it won't cache the last motion it will just delete but it is recommended to be kept ticked on then this is an important option image preparation uh, what this does is it has this little option of contrast and edge enhance what this does is you, when you click on it you're not gonna see anything over here it's gonna be just as it was but what's happening is Twixter is using its own algorithm of contrasting and edge enhancing it's applying that algorithm on this video so that it can see these edges more clearly by increasing the contrast inside its engine it's not doing it on the image so don't worry about that it's not going to increase your contrast or anything it's just doing it so that it can itself understand how the motion of the frame is so that that is the option you would like to select Motion vectors, how do you want to keep them? You want to keep them sloppy, medium, high, or best. Obviously, you're gonna keep them best. If your system lags, you might as well keep them on sloppy as of now. And by the end of it, when you're gonna render the result, you can keep it to best. But 
you should keep it on best all the time because keeping it on sloppy or medium is gonna show some warping but, but actually it's not gonna be there when you keep it on best so you might just get confused output control now this is the main uh, panel from where Twixter operates you're gonna set this back to 100% as it was now um, time remap mode what do you want this number to be do you want it to be speed as in 100% is original speed or do you want it to be a frame number that right now frame number 0 is going to be frame number 0 as you can see whenever you drag nothing happens because it's not denoting the current frame number it's denoting that frame number 0 always will be frame number 0 that is this frame and frame number say 1047 is always going to be frame number 1047 so we're gonna just keep back that to speed because that's a more convenient option to understand 